Hello and welcome. My name is Alan. Today we are going to be doing a few quick Python exercises um, using Jupyter Notebook, which we have previously set up um, following the professor's instructions. <coughs> As you can see here, we have our interpreter running in the background, and then we are using um, Jupyter Notebook in the browser to do our code. <coughs> Today we're going to be doing coding problems 1.1 and 1.2. They don't look like they'll take a terribly long time. I've already gone ahead and watched the attached video lectures. And then we should be able to tackle these. <coughs> so the time is currently 746. I'm going to open a new file for Python. And then we can begin. Well, let's go ahead and mark this down as helpful to type problem one point. Uh, let's make this a header, uh, which was the there we go. <coughs> Problem 1.1. We can enter. So let's see here. Problem 1.1 says to assume S is a string of lowercase characters. Then we are given a string of random characters and we are told to write a program that counts up the number of vowels contained in the string. We should then print the number of vowels. So just for my own sake um, we'll go ahead and a couple of these. <coughs> this gives us a little room to work. So I'm a little more comfortable this way. Um, having just the one line is a little daunting right now. So, let's see. The first thing we should do is copy and paste our first string. Oh, please. Can I not copy and paste? Does not look <coughs> so. Um, okay, so let's begin. We'll start with our counter. We know that's what we want to do. Um, so we can do count. And then we will want to make this curly bracket. <coughs> um, where we can make each of these. And set them to zero. It's A. E. I O and U we'll have our close bracket there. <coughs> And let's go ahead and test that. Print counts should be zero or count. Uh, capital. Print count. There we go. So from there, we 
can enter the string that we are given. A Z Next, we'll loop through this for E and S. If E and count. So here we have set our string, Whoa. and then we have begun our loop. This loop says for each, this will be our um, index, so for each in s, which is our string, if e is in count, the count up here, the index is one of these. Then for that index, add one. Try this out. And that looks to be correct. So the loop works. We're getting the expected values. Now we'll need to have our program print the number of vowels. So to do that, let's get our count values. So count values. Was those, there those are, and then we can create a variable to add these all together. which should allow us to then print the number of vowels that we have. Perfect. And with that, we have completed Problem 1.1. Let's waste no time and go straight into problem 2. 1.2. There we go. And we are beginning this at 7.55. So the first problem only took us a couple minutes.
problem 1.2, we'll be using the same string that we were previously using. And it would like us to print the number of times the string bob occurs within our larger string. We should then print the number of times bob occurs. So very similar. Um, so for this one, we will have our bob count, and we can set that equal to zero. Just for now. So that is the number of bobs that we have so far. We'll start at zero. Um, we'll take our string and add that now. <coughs> and then we can begin a loop to break down the string into substrings. So this time we will use i for our index. i in range our string length we will be able to um we will be able to say if our string at the index to index plus three is what it'll say here, but Python does not include the actual three. Plus the two, three that we have here written. So if that is equal to Bob, or is the same, is set the same, <coughs> then we can increase our Bob count once again by one. And if all that works, we should be able to print a bob count. Um, and it looks like that has worked, but consistency's sake of bob her says then our bob count at the end of that fantastic and then we check that so we have here a little string of two of them where you can reuse the middle b So since our index is beginning at 1, 
one, two, include the next. What we have is three, but since it doesn't include the last one, we take one plus two, and we break it there, and then we move to the next. So in this way, you're able to, to get both instances of Bob. and then increase our counter for each. That will complete problem 1.2. And with that, I will go ahead and end the video. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to come back for more homework problems.